Hello, and welcome to my tutorial on how to install a Nintendo 64 emulator. A user on my PlayStation emulator tutorial commented saying, Can you do a Nintendo 64 emulator? Okay, here it is. Nintendo 64 emulator is so, so easy to install and do. Two things, three things if you count win raw. Super easy, then you're all good. So, what you can do is, if you go down here to this website here, Emulator Zone, go to project 64 and download it so click and click the top one here don't download this one because it's just don't just don't download it and download the top one so then when you've done that will download to your desktop and you'll get an exe file like this next while it's downloading cause it's 20 megabyte for some people it may come in slow but with today's internet speeds probably not um, go to cool rom and pick a game you want so super simple i'm gonna pick spider-man Partially because I've only ever played two games on the Nintendo 64 because that's all I had as a kid. GoldenEye and Mario. Mario was an awesome game. So I'm just going to pick Spider-Man because who doesn't like Spider-Man? But then what you do is scroll down and go to download now. Click it and you'll get this window. If you want an Internet Explorer, allow the pop-up, you know what it's like, terrible, blah, blah. Um, you'll tick down on timer and just click download file it'll be good when it's done you'll get it you will need WinRAR or 7zip for this quite a lot of users experienced the fact that the game didn't work or you could not see the game from the emulator pretty much 90% of the time it was because they didn't extract it properly or fully yeah so just follow how it's done again disclaimer you do need WinRAR or 7zip please remember that I'll put an annotation above at this point as well, just to, for people who are not listening to audio. So what you're going to do is get the game and just right click and choose extract files and click OK here. And what's done, it'll extract and you'll have your game. So if you go into the folder, you'll ha typically have two files. A readme, which is like, this is the game, this is who uploaded it, this is who cracked it, blah, blah, blah. And then you'll get like the actual game. So just drag the game onto your desktop just so we've got easy drag and drop and we'll just drag these to up here now because these are for deletion later but don't delete them now because you might need them in case something goes wrong so now go to your application and just double click it to open it up you'll get this and um, depending on what operating system you're on just click run boot it up and here you will have when it loads this so just follow if you've never installed an application before just follow me it's like three or four clicks and you'll be happy so just click next now, here is where you choose where you want to install it to. If you don't know anything about a computer, um, kind of, if you're experiencing to install an emulator, you are quite clever. But yeah, so congratulations, you got this far. But what I'm going to do is I don't want it to install it there because I've already got an emulator installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and put it on my desktop for a minute. You don't need to worry about this just for now. Emulator. I'm just going to put it into there, which will create a folder here, and just click next. And what you're going to do is, when you click install, it'll begin installing it. Um, what this basically is, is just extracting the files, putting it where it needs to be, being in your registry and all this stuff. So this may take some time, depending on your computer. I'm going to stop it now and come back when it's done. Um, so I'll see you in a minute. So I'm back, and it's done. You have a launch button. Don't click it yet because you need to put your game in first so click finish drag this up up here because you don't need it again so what you're going to do is go into your folder now and you should have all the project files for it so this is how you start it here but don't start it yet um, depending where you want to put your games you can have it in different folders you can have it halfway across the computer you can have it anywhere um, but I like to keep them all in one place like here so what I'm going to do is create a new folder and call it games and I'm going to drag spider-man in here you can have an endless number of folders, but I'm just having it all in there. And now what you can do is if you click this, you can you can either start it straight up from here, or if you want it on your desktop, right click and choose Create Shortcut. You can't see it because it goes off my screen. But if you just go down, you'll see a button called Create Shortcut. Click it, and then just drag this onto your desktop, like so. And you'll have this shortcut here. So what I'm going to do is just double click and open it up. So you get this small screen here. Just choose your language, it's got many to choose from, never even heard of some of these, but then click OK. I'm English, obviously, if you didn't know that you are, 
you probably are struggling but um, then you got this window just click file open ROM a ROM is basically a rip of the game aka someone's copied the game go to where you've put it so mine's in Dan desktop and emulator here we have games and spider-man so boot it up and when it loads it will load and what you can do first is go to options and go to settings and here you can check make sure you've got everything just make sure you've got jabos done because I've selected jabos and I've never had any problems and um, go back to setting options and choose configure controller plugin and here will allow you to choose what you want to use as your controller so at the moment I'm not using anything apparently um, so my keyboard is automatically set up, you can set a controller, all you do is put your controller in, turn this emulator off, then on, and then select your controller from here, program it all. So I'm going to let it load, so press A. Mine worked. Oh god, listen to that glitching. Out. Spider-Man. Sounds nothing like Spider-Man at all, but from the time, it was quite good. So let's press buttons till we get somewhere okay apparently enter gets us somewhere and so does Z let's go on hard I've never played this game before so as you can see it is working fully um, the, tutorial, the tutorial ends here I'm just gonna play a little more just to see if people want to actually see how it handles but this is the tutorial thanks for watching and see you later please like it as well comment bye bye This is actually really good graphics for the time. I wish he'd go away. No, oh, well, I failed. I quit. Right, thanks for watching. See you later.